just outside of Evergreen and Idaho Springs, Colorado. And today we're gonna to be hiking Chief Mountain here for a full hike review of Chief Mountain. You can check the link below. The hike to Chief Mountain is located on Squaw Pass, uh, right next to Echo Ski Resort. It's just shy of three miles round trip and uh, it tops out at like 11.4, 11.3 around there. It's a really nice hike for all times of year, especially in the winter, if you're looking to try to get some winter hiking experience because of its uh, accessibility, pretty low avalanche risk, and uh, yeah, beautiful summit views, which we'll show you later. Whole squad with us today. Hike is pretty steep, so I would definitely recommend having micro spikes. I'll link below to the pair that I use and you can help support the channel by purchasing them, purchasing them through my links. Outside of micro spikes though, you really shouldn't need much other gear. Maybe gaiters at the top. If uh, there's a fresh storm or if the wind has blown the snow a lot, uh, but pretty typical hiking gear outside of that. Trying a new leash out with Juno today, hands free for the uh, Colorado trail prep. A little while into the hike, you're gonna reach your first trail junction and just bear left here and continue this way. Up towards Chief Mountain. And you'll see a sign right here that tells you it is just about two miles away and it's exaggerating how far that is. Oh man, got a nasty cold today. So, uh, not feeling too hot, but always good to get that nice cold air going in your system. It makes everything feel a bit better here. This hike does have a steady elevation gain, basically from the time you start all the way to the top, but it's never like super, super steep. It's always like a two or 3% grade pitch so you're kind of like gradually working up there but it definitely is uh, pretty much a straight shot from Squaw Pass to the summit. into the hike you're gonna emerge from the trees here at least partially and uh, this is where it might be a little hard to find the trail in the winter at least um, and the snow drifts check one out here in front of us it's about three four feet um, so there'll probably be a well-established path to follow but if not the summit is basically that direction these are the views you got emerging through the trees here. So pretty on a clear day. So to frame you, this is looking north into the uh, Indian Peaks wilderness and I'll identify some of the peaks as we get to the summit. down low it's mellow plan for some winds because you are close to 11,500 feet and you're pretty exposed up here as well not a lot of mountains around you blocking the wind from any direction really you can see uh, Jackie and Juno walking up towards the summit now that we're fully above tree line here the summit is right there the sun's real bright but you can see Grays and Tories, 
right there, those two. And then, uh, yeah, just beautiful views up here. The true summit is right there. There's someone on it, so we're not up there. But we'll go there soon, and I'll show you the views from there next. All right, now that the other party is gone, we're going to head over to the true summit of Chief Mountain. Let's go. A little bit of a scramble up here, but nothing crazy. Don't let it intimidate you. So looking this way, we got Pikes Peak there. And then uh, this right there is the Devil's Head Fire Tower. But really just awesomely clear views up here today. While I'm showing you some views from here, give you some quick stats about the summit. So just about three miles to get up here. And man, the views today are unrivaled. All right, sun is setting. What a beautiful afternoon up here. Couldn't be happier that we got out and did this hike. Um, Jackie and Juno didn't want to be on the summit because Juno was a little scared to be up here. If you do hear gunshots, by the way, there are a couple of shooting ranges in the area, so don't get alarmed about that. Um, but yeah, an overall Chief Mountain, I'll give you the real backdrop that you want here. Really awesome hike, highly recommend it for the winter for the spring, for the summer, really all year round, uh, closer to Denver and uh, just unrivaled views. So awesome hike and uh, we'll leave you at that. So for a full hike review of Chief Mountain, more information about this hike, how to get here, parking fees, all that fun stuff, go ahead and check, check the link below. I'll have a link below for gear that I recommend to using for this hike as well. So go ahead and support the channel by shopping through those links. And uh, yeah, please subscribe not to miss any future hike adventures. And we'll see you on the next hike. Thanks for watching.